Hey guys, welcome back to Texas Eats. Liz Phoebe Toe here. Today I am eating at one of my very favorite uh, Texas fast food places. Um, it's called Taco Casa. I know that's not like a really original name. There's probably Taco Casas all over the United States, but this is a fast food chain that is just in Texas, okay? I'm gonna, um, I part. I already got my food, but I'm gonna show you the sign. Can y'all see it back there? I'm still in the parking lot. So, okay. So here is, their food is really kind of cool. They always serve it like in this little, I don't know, even know what these, what this is called. It's like a little boat, <laughs> a paper boat. But that's, that's their branding. Taco Casa. So it is a fast food place. You know, they do have a dining room, but um, it's fast food. Okay. But it's, it's, it's not um, traditional Mexican food. I wouldn't even call it Tex-Mex. I would like call it Texican food or something. I don't know. Because um, like they have uh, what they call it, um, chilada, which is like an enchilada, but it's not in a corn, uh, tortilla. It's in a flour tortilla. So let me tell you, I think it started in Gainesville, Texas. Don't, don't quote me on that, but I think that's where it started. But what sets them apart is a couple of things. They put a ton, a ton of freshly shredded cheese on their stuff. And then they serve the hot sauce um, little packets and it's a lot like a like a Taco Bell type consistency it's not a salsa with you know chunks of vegetables in it it's just a liquid you know hot sauce okay and it is spicy it is spicy it's not like scalding spicy but before I show you my food I want to tell you a couple of things about them. So they have nachos, they have soft tacos, crunchy tacos, or crispy tacos. They have um, burritos, of course. One of my favorite things to get there is something called a tostada. If you, <laughs> a lot of you are like, duh, everybody knows what a tostada is. But some some people watching this may be from, you know, wherever, somewhere that that y'all don't have tostadas. So what is a tostada? A tostada is a flat basically flat crispy taco with everything just piled on top of it the reason i didn't get it for this video is because it's extremely messy to eat and i don't want to do that to myself and watch myself eat a tostada that would just be cruel and unusual punishment to myself so um that's one of my favorite things they have nachos and then they do this little fun thing called like you could order just a taco but then you could get a super taco or you can get a taco light. Um, so the light versions is supposed to be less calories, but I have never one time gotten any of their light stuff. But anyway, and then they have the super version, which they'll add olives and sour cream. I think that's it. Well, like the tostada is, the regular tostada is just beans and cheese and sauce and lettuce okay but then their super tostada has sour cream has meat on it ground beef um they don't have chicken it's just ground beef is their thing and then uh, olives and sauce okay so super you could order the super or anything and it's gonna they're gonna add more stuff to it okay also, you can ask for, they put just like their regular, um, like enchilada type sauce on most of their stuff, but you, like on their burritos, you can ask for mild or spicy sauce and spicy sauce, honestly, is not that spicy. I still end up putting hot sauce on, on even when I get spicy sauce, but the spicy sauce is a green sauce. Okay. So let me show you my food. Y'all know I don't sit here and eat the whole thing, but I do show you. So this is their taco. And look at all, uh, guys, look at all that cheese. Seriously. So like on this, whenever I put my hot sauce on their taco, I have to open it up and put it like down the side. I know you're not supposed to use your teeth to open stuff, but deal with it. Okay, so I'm just putting my sauce in. So, see, the taco, I put the sauce on the side, has meat, 
a little bit of lettuce and um, cheese. That's pretty much it, just for the regular crispy taco or crunchy taco, so. Look at all that meat. So, if you like a lot of meat and a lot of cheese, this is it. And let me just say, something I have discovered about Taco Costa in Texas. I have never one time been eating there 10 years, probably. Um, never one time gotten a bad taco, like a taco that was stale or the meat was bad. Very consistent with their product, okay? I've never gotten a bad burrito. One time when I ordered nachos, the chips were stale. Out of 10 years, they are very, very consistently putting out good products like this this taco shell is just perfect it's crispy it's not stale it's um but it's soft it's not a hard shell so i love i love their tacos okay so let me have one more bite and then i'll show you my burrito okay tip this may be obvious to a lot of people, but when you order multiple things, like even at a restaurant, I'm oh, gonna drop my burrito. I always eat the stuff with the hard shell first so that the meat doesn't make it soggy. So if I get a taco and an enchilada or a burrito, I'll eat the taco first because like I said, you don't want that taco to get, it's like nachos. You don't want it to sit there and let the nachos sit. So. That's just a little strategy. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my burritos. I got the super burrito. And this sucker is huge. Look at this. It's a two-handed burrito. So I won't finish all of this. But I'll save it and eat it later today. Okay, so the tortilla is very soft extremely soft like like I said they are really consistently I didn't even open this up ahead of time to check it because I just know they're consistently good okay so I'm gonna open it up it's not the most beautiful thing to open up a burrito and look at it but here we go so we got meat beans um, lettuce tomato cheese sour cream and some black olives so a lot of people do take the black olives off i like them so i'm not even going to add any sauce to this at first so again just really good burrito like really good so if you're in texas um make make this a stop for you again it's not like an authentic Tex-Mex you know your um, abuela would make this is Texas you know like white folk in Texas making Mexican food or making fast food but again consistently delicious um, good good food so try try everything on the menu that veins in my teeth but anyway taco casa Here's a one last little plug. 10 out of 10 for fast food, um, Texas, Mexican, Texican food. So hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.